Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. I think it's been kind of apparent I've been having a hard time recently. I picture the summer always being carefree, kind of like living my best life. I fail to just like acknowledge that even though the summer is a time of what's supposed to be carefree and whatnot, if the weather's not great, I'm not frolicking. I still have a job, which I think I fail to recognize prior to each summer. I don't know what it is. And I was never someone who ever really didn't work during the summer. Like even when I was a kid, I would go to school all year and then summer break, I would work. So I don't know who she is and who she thinks she is, but in my mind, in the summer, I'm a lady who leisures. I need to just kind of be like more accepting of where I'm at. I know this is like very silly. Nothing really terrible is going wrong. I feel very overwhelmed. And last night I was hysterical crying. And the fact that I am somehow stuck in a sad loop on TikTok and Instagram, like I can't go on social media anymore. I keep getting fed senior cats who are like dying. I keep getting fed like I found this one account and granted I did follow it so I mean the algorithm clearly is algorithming this woman you can send her their fur nail clippings whiskers of your deceased animal she will create the most beautiful like jewelry for you to wear with those items incorporated into it I can't she is so beautifully talented but I can't watch her videos last night I was sobbing then Mike was like let's watch Real Housewives of New Jersey it was insane I'm to the point where Danielle and Jen got into a fight. It was kind of wild. And honestly, I'm team Danielle, just if you're asking my opinion. And then once it was over, like once I'm not distracted, I get very upset and then I was hysterical again. I feel overwhelmed by the state of the world, I'm very overwhelmed by the upcoming election. I feel very overwhelmed by the fact that this is the hottest summer I think I've ever been alive for. I've been very concerned about global warming, but it's like, at what point do we realize that we are destroying the planet and what are we gonna do to fix it? I just feel a little disheartened. I don't want to buy things anymore. Like I do, but like overconsumption should not be the narrative. I feel like I may be playing a role in promoting overconsumption by uploading videos like my Amazon Prime Day recommendations. I have a lot of things and I've been purging and I feel like in recent years I've been so good about it, but I just, I feel some type of way about it. This is like where I'm at emotionally. I just feel very disheartened. I feel sad and I don't want to feel this way because I want it to be hot girl summer. I want to be having fun. I want to be frolicking. The weather's not cooperating. Like I'm not, I don't mean to sound like a brat, but my God, I commute to and from New York City. I am a corporate girly and I had to commute in this week. Granted only three days. Okay. I'm grateful that it's only three days. I am shattered from this weather. If I could shower six times in a day, I would because I think I have to. Like it has been oppressively hot. I'm sad that the summer isn't really amounting to what I have it in my head. Frolicking beach days, enjoying the outdoors. I'm sad about that, but I'm mostly sad again about the overall message. I think that our mother earth is sending us like bitches, get it together. What are we doing? I'm like getting a little emotional about it right now. And honestly, I'm PMSing. I'm supposed to get my period either today or tomorrow, which is not helping the situation, but I'm hoping that we can have a fun weekend. We're gonna spend the weekend together. I really wanna thank those of you and you know who you are, my subscribers that watch all my videos that always engage with me. I really wanna thank you guys for telling me to take care of myself and asking me how I'm doing. I really like genuinely feel like some of you are my friends. Like I really consider you my friends. It means a lot to me that you guys like reach out and see how I'm doing. I love you guys so much. Thank you for joining me in this video. And I hope that we could chit chat, talk about meaningful things, but also, you know, laugh through it all because each moment is a precious moment and I'm just trying to be grateful, but I just, I feel worried. I feel anxious.
I may have done my makeup without you. I just like wasn't in the mood to chit chat. I kind of wanted to throw the makeup on my face and be done with it. I honestly think I want to do like a chit chat, get ready with me about all these topics. I just feel very conflicted. Like I love fashion. I love beauty. Clearly I talk a lot about all of the above and I'm going to show you the outfit that I'm wearing and I'm going to tell you about the makeup that I'm wearing right now because I actually did just film a get ready with me like a shorter form for shorts here on YouTube. So I will link it here if you're interested. Honestly, the lip inspired. I was feeling inspired. Honestly, I was inspired by old pictures of me that I was going through today. My Google Drive told me that I was at capacity and I needed to delete things. And so I was going through like old emails that I would send myself when I'm back in the day, like when I was a fashion blogger. And there were so many pictures of me with like bold, hot pink lips and like bold outfits. You know, I wanted to keep it true to who I am. And I do really enjoy a minimalist makeup, but I figured like a bold red, just give it a pop of something. I can just tell you what the lip is now. I mean, why hold out on you? Cappuccino by Rimmel. I put it in this little pouch that I bought because it reminds me of my dad and I never use it. How cute is this though? My dad loved camo. So I bought this for my sister and I shortly after he passed, but I'm wearing Cappuccino Rimmel. Lipstick, I'm wearing Hollywood Vixen and that is the combo. Really comfortable. I don't know because you know, I tried my pillow talk for the first time in a really long time last weekend and I didn't like it. I just, I think it might be old. And this is a newer lipstick that I bought a few months ago. But anyway, I feel very conflicted inside because I love fashion. I love beauty. I'm just like over, over consumerism. Is that even a word? I watch a lot of like hauls and I do a lot of hauls, but I don't know why. I just feel very icky about it lately. Like I kind of just want to be more of a minimalist, find the things that I really, really love, create like a capsule wardrobe, makeup wardrobe, wardrobe and call it a day. Um, so I think I might be on a journey of minimalism, but I really want to hear what it is you guys think. You know, I don't buy a lot of new products. I don't buy a lot of new things because I just think that like whatever you have, like I have enough. I have enough. Like whatever you have, you know, is enough. It's not, I just, if anything innovative and crazy comes out, okay, sure. Lipstick, okay, sure. Because I genuinely wear lip products every single day. So I feel like I do really get the use out of them, but I don't wear foundation. I think I only really need one concealer. I don't want to do that thing anymore where I run out of something and I have even like a single backup. I just want to go through whatever it is I'm going through and then have to go to the store and pick it up. I think the world is hot. I feel terrible that we're destroying the planet. I feel terrible that we're destroying each other's mental health. Like I never want you to come on here and see this lip and think like, oh my God, that's the most beautiful lip ever. I need it to like be as beautiful. Not that I'm calling myself beautiful, but you know what I'm saying. And I am definitely a victim in that, not a victim, I'm not a victim. That's not the word. I'm not a victim. I am guilty of doing the same thing. Alana Davison here on YouTube, she has beautiful lips. And every time she puts on a lipstick, I'm like, I need that so that my lips will look like hers. My lips will never look like hers and I have enough lipstick. And I don't want you to feel like you need to have the newest, the latest, the greatest. You need to have what I have in order to achieve a makeup look like this. Like you don't, okay? We all have enough. You don't need any more clothes. You don't need any more makeup. But let me show you my outfit. We're still gonna talk about beauty. We're still gonna talk about makeup. We're still gonna talk about handbags, pocketbooks, the whole, all of it because I love it and jewelry. I'm getting my period any second and I feel disgusting, I feel bloated and I feel most comfortable in black. And I've been wearing a lot of color lately so I'm not knocking me. This is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing the Goelia shorts. We tried these on in a recent haul. It is not a sponsored video. Um, I bought this with my own money. But these are very comfortable and I like that they're short. They cover the insecure areas. This is honestly the first time that I'm wearing them. However, this is also a Goelia piece that I have worn nonstop. I've worn this at least twice a week for the last three weeks when I first got it. This is, it's kind of like, it's not linen, but it looks very linen. It looks very expensive. Feel bad about that haul because kind of like roping it back into what I was just saying. I don't think Goelia makes quality pieces. Like, will I keep this for as long as I possibly can? Yes. Will I wear this numerous times? Yes. I just like don't really think that these are the best of the best quality. If I could go back in time, I probably wouldn't have bought this, but I love it and so I'm glad that I bought it. This is a very old tank top from Ann Taylor. That's kind of rouge. I just tucked that in. I took the belt that came with these shorts because you get a very long, large belt. I took that out and put my Gucci belt in just for like a pop to accessorize it. I don't know, it looks kind of like boring otherwise. And then I'm gonna be honest, I am someone where I typically match shoes with my bag. However, I wanna take this bag out. So I think I'm gonna mix it up, get out of my comfort zone. As dramatic as that sounds, because we're talking about a handbag, but this is my Valentino Rockstud and I was actually thinking about selling her. It hurts when I say that. 
when I think about it because I wanted this bag for like so many years. It retails for like, or honestly, I don't even know if they sell it anymore. I know that Valentino was going through like a whole rebrand. I hired a new creative director. Here I am talking about fashion. I really, I love fashion so much, but like, I also really love this planet and I don't want to fry like a sardine. I don't think that they sell this brand new, but you can find this secondhand. When this first came out like years and years and years ago, it was like $3,000. I bought it for less than a thousand. I felt really proud. Even though I didn't spend the full price, I was proud that I didn't spend the full price, but this was like always something that I really wanted, I yearned for, but it was like out of my grasp, you know? And then I worked really hard, I saved money, and I bought it, discounted, but I still bought it. I'll show you what's in here. I was very happy about all of the room that I had left. However, I realized I need to bring you along with us. I don't really think I have that much room, but I told you I have my little pooch in here, my poochette mirror that I bought in San Francisco when Mike and I went to Napa for the first time, then we went to San Francisco after my Louis Vuitton wallet. I have my lipstick my lip liner, toothpicks for Michael, and some Advil in case, you know, somebody needs Advil, which may be me, honestly. And for shoes, I still haven't worn these out of the house. Um, ignore the mess. I've been cleaning a lot today, but I feel like I'm forever cleaning. But these are the shoes that I got from Vince Nordstrom Rack. They're like the smallest little kitten heel. These are so annoying to take off, but I don't want to be the chick that walks around with a sticker on the bottom of her foot. I don't understand why they peel like that. Stupid. I tried to rip this one off and it didn't really come off. Here is the fit. Also could button this up. I feel like it kind of looks a bit like chicer, more like Hamptons vibes, but I think I want it unbuttoned. I'm honestly wearing it like this every day when I go to work and I wear this, which I've been wearing all of these little jackets. I always wear them buttoned up and I kind of want to be like freer, a little bit more cash. I feel like I tied the shoes in thanks to the jacket because I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of driving me crazy when I just looked like this with this bag. Plus I think it might be chilly when we go out to eat, but I, this was the vibe. And I was like, mm, I think I need to jazz it up and I think I need to bring the shoes back into it. What do you think about the wine? It's good. It's good? It's good. I think it's really good. It's good for a crappy wine. A crappy wine? <laughs> I think it's pretty good for a crappy wine too. Good morning. It is a beautiful Saturday morning and it's not really beautiful, but it's rainy and I'm just like living for it. I'm getting my period today and I'm just like tired. Anyone else like right, right before I get it, I really struggle to sleep. Like I'm so tired, but I just, I can't sleep. Like I just, I think I'm so uncomfortable that my body is like, lady, get out of bed. We can't lay here anymore. I feel very zen but I feel in a pain. Like I feel pained, I feel crampy. I know one of my subscribers helps to do something with her hormones through menopause, but anybody else do hormone balancing? I'm giving it a try, I don't know. I'm not saying anything's wrong, but the amount of which I've cried this past week. My anxiety gets really bad before I get my period. I'm just trying little things and I'm gonna see how it goes. Like having a piece of banana bread, this is a very sad piece of banana bread. <laughs> I just cut, I don't really like to eat first thing in the morning. I had six ounces of water because I'm a zombie to the coffee machine, we all know this. I could just sip on coffee until 12 noon. Apparently you're supposed to have water in the morning and you're not supposed to have coffee on an empty stomach. It spikes your cortisol levels and it's not good for balancing your hormones. I don't know. I'm just giving it a try. Honestly, I will do anything at this point to not be a person that I was this past week. My banana bread is really good. We all know I love my banana bread. I just like don't feel like eating right now. This is what I'm giving a try and we'll see how it goes. I'm a new face. I'm gonna have some coffee. My god. Yeah, this is all I want. I have been slathering my forehead and my eyeballs with castor oil the nights before I wash my hair all in this area. And I honestly think it's better than any anti-aging. I mean, I still have wrinkles, which is okay, but I just feel like they're so much smoother looking. I'm gonna 
watch a YouTube video while I do this. I will probably watch Victoria McGrath or Alana Davison or Freya Kalen. I'll probably watch one of them. I heard you all about the mint. I have taken it out. You guys said it would overpower the rest of the box, so I need to find somewhere else to put it. And we planted three blueberry bushes in this little spare box. <laughs> runway dress I will link this down below as well this is what I don't know I said to Mike we're going to Short Hills Mall surprise my overconsumption I can't feel too bad about it because I'm literally gonna go shopping today because I love to shop but it's just a part of who I am and it's a part of who I think I've always been and will always be I asked Mike oh I'm out of breath is this too much because we are going to the mall and then after we go to the mall we're going to dinner with my aunt Abby my aunt Dawn my sister her boyfriend Mick my grandma my mom obviously Michael's coming and we're going to a pub and I don't feel like this is pub e but again I kind of just want to like be the woman that I used to be and like I used to just dress to the nines I'm wearing those same shoes again they're so comfortable I love them the vent shoes I used to just dress to the nines no matter where I went like it's really funny because let me just fix this really quick but it's really funny because I think about the time that Mike and I went pumpkin picking and he was really like you will hear him to a club like that's who I always was I wear what I want when I want and I don't really follow a dress code so I think I'm just going to hone in on that woman oh but I gotta pack my lipsticks I'm gonna wear this bag again you know how dare I say that I'm gonna get rid of her like I was really thinking about getting rid of her but I can't because of all the reasons I told you yesterday and I really enjoyed taking her out last night and I also really enjoyed Enjoyed that red lip that I wore yesterday. Today, I am wearing Candy Chic by Charlotte Tilbury, which I didn't really like this lipstick, but I'm really liking it today. Maybe because I dyed my hair and it looks good with the brown hair. I bought these earrings at a street fair in New York City. They're fake YSL. How cute are they? They're so cute. I love them. I just, I love brown lately. Oh, and I dropped my, I'm a hot mess express. I dropped the lid to this. And I just like don't know where it went, but I don't want my eye cream to go bad because I can't find the lid. All right, we gotta go. Yeah. Oh, I see him. Oh, wow. He's really pretty. Oh, wow. I don't know if I got him, though. One, two. That's a really cool name. Thank you so you much. You probably hear that one. Um, honestly, like, sometimes yes, but also sometimes I think this is going to be my next book. Good energy. Casey means. I love the eyeballs. Oh my god, and the gourds. No, guys, we can't be doing this right now, but I am into it. I'm really into it. I'm like so into it. Oh my god, look at the. Oh my god, the pussy cats. <gasps> that is me. I am the president of the Cat Lovers Club. Look at that paper clip. What is that? Look at the paper clip. I have to look back at the menu to see if like there's a paper clip. brand or anything. Where is. Mike is in Tuscany. Mike's in Tuscany. Chin chin me. Oh, you only got water. Chin it. Chin chin. Yeah. Look at you in Tuscany. I love it. Michael's outside walking the dog like a little ho ho he is. Good morning. Good morning, my sir. Tell everybody good morning, please. Thank you. Say it again. Oh, I'll be my softy. Cheers to drinking water before we drink what we really want. Doing things that are good for us, even though we don't enjoy them. It's so cold. This feels way more right, except it's not in my cat mug because they're both dirty. I have to clean them and I don't have enough time because we're sprinting to go to the beach. I feel like I haven't like had a lot of time with Amanda recently and I usually spend more time with her. So I'm looking forward to it, but it's going to be like disgusting out. So my hair is not looking forward to it. I'm not looking forward to it. I just feel hot already because it's about to be that time of the month. So eat this really quickly.
we have no time. So much for a relaxing Sunday, but we both slept late, so what are you gonna do? But I hope you had a fabulous relaxing Sunday. Don't mind me, my hair looks a little crazy. I haven't brushed it at all since I curled it in hopes that curls will last longer. Um, but she's looking a little ratchet. I figured I would give you guys like a quick little tour of our beach house because one of my friends here on YouTube asked that I give a little tour of the house. And my apologies that it took so long for me to do this because we really haven't been down here. The weather hasn't been that great, but I'll give you a quick little tour. This is what it looks like when you walk in. Cute little high ceilings, the kitchen. Super cute. I'm sorry, I didn't really clean it for you. This is like, the real deal. That's our recycling because we know we love to recycle here. Here's our cabinets, decorative section, no crabby attitudes. That's what we live by. Although I think I'm the crabbiest. This is the picture that I showed you guys of Mike and I, our family and my dad. Most of the decor that we got is from Home Goods, So I love this. I think I picked this out with the whales all over it. The dining room, I'll scooch back so you can see. Just like a cute little dining room table. I think we got this on Wayfair. Stool on this side. Welcome guy. And then this is the little living room. So the kitchen, the dining room, and the living room are all in this room. It's our cute little surfboard that we hung up. It's our table. The couch is prettier than it is, but we keep a cover on it just because, you know, it's the beach. Shark guy. Oh my God, he's so cute. It was my idea to put the shark guy here because he's covering the modem back here. This is the kitchen, the living room and the dining room. Nothing really that exciting to see here, except for the mirror that I love. I absolutely love this mirror. I remember when Mike and I came to look at this house, we walked in the bathroom and I was like, oh, I love the mirror. And Mike was like, I know, I knew you were gonna say that. Also, I'm wearing this Calzedonia bathing suit in this cute little army green color. I don't know if I showed you guys this, but this was like the first bathing suit that I ordered from them. Very, very comfortable. I love how soft it is. I really like the material. Also, I don't know if you guys know, but I have Michael's name name tattooed on my ribs. I'm only mentioning it because my sister-in-law Amanda was like, when did you get Mike's name tattooed on you? I've had this since, I think I got this in 2021, but it's like never out and it's in my grandpa's handwriting. So I don't know, I just thought I'd show you, but I will link this bikini down below. I don't make a commission, no affiliation. I just honestly think that these are the most comfortable. And yesterday when we went to the Short Hills Mall, I didn't know that Calzedonia had a, a like storefront, like a brick and mortar, cause I've only ever ordered from them online. And you would think that I would know this because we go to the Short Hills Mall so freaking often, um, but they have a store in the Short Hills Mall. If you're in New Jersey in the area, you can check it out. This is the kids room. Oh, I guess those are um, air conditioning filters. I don't know why those are there, but I love this rug. We call this the red room because of the octopus. The octopi, I guess I should say. And then in the hallway, Mike printed a bunch of pictures that he took while we were at the Jersey Shore, which I thought was really cute. So, I mean, like these pictures are really nice. Those are all of the pictures that he took. He hung them on the wall, which I did not help because he says that I have crooked eyes. This is the blue room. So we have this really cute starfish rug, this really cute lamp that Mike's mom bought us. I'll show you, I'll plug it in. How cute is that? So yeah, we have that little lamp. All of the plants here are faux. I love this. It's a little whale in a bottle, a message in a bottle, but it's a whale in a bottle. How cute is that? Again, I'm pretty sure we got all of the decorations, the decor at Home Goods. Our bedroom, we got this little paddle that we put above the door. We got that at Home Goods. You guys know this painting or this picture that my dad had printed. We hung it in our bedroom. Sorry, <laughs> the bed looks really sloppy, but this is a little frame that I bought Mike. I think I was shopping with my mom a really long time ago when we first got the house in like 2018. And it says, in high tide or in low tide, I'll be by your side. So I bought that for him. He put it on his little nightstand. Pillows that are reversible, but I like the gold and the white. My dearest apologies. My side looks terrible, but we'll just hone in on the fact that I have my little evil eye. It's just like a coaster in case I get thirsty, a candle that smells really good. And then here is my mirror or our mirror that has little seashells all around it. Super cute, right? It was really heavy. I love this mirror. I love this house, honestly. This is like my happy place. The high ceilings in here. I love the high ceilings. And yeah, that is the beach house. So thank you so much for checking out my MTV Cribs. I hope that you guys enjoyed that. This is like genuinely my happy place. 
and yeah i just i'm so happy to be here i was a little moody this morning i'm not gonna lie i really didn't want to come like i really wanted to see my sister-in-law and my nephews and my brother-in-law i really did but i just like really wasn't in the mood to come down here i am really crampy and pmsing which reminds me i came down here i came back up to pee and get myself some mitol i don't know why that basketball is there but that is the beach house. We're gonna head back to the beach. I think we're gonna order some food in a bit, order some lunch. I think I'm gonna order like a chicken cutlet sandwich because that is what I'm craving. So nice out. Honestly, it's hot, but like there's a nice breeze by the ocean. It's actually like the perfect beach day, which I'm very happy about. I'm happy that we came down today really because if it were up to me this morning i would have been like no let's just stay home i need to get in back into like the summer fun summer mindset because i've been a little down and out recently and i need to like shake it off i need to shake it off as the swifties would say oh, thank you so much that looks delicious surprise we're home that happened very fast i feel very schmopey like every time we get home from the beach house i feel so sad yesterday we went to the mall and like i'm not kidding you i get a, such a high from when i shop but i know that the high doesn't last but yesterday we went to the mall and i was so excited because i wanted to buy a fendi belt which i actually purchased it yesterday but they didn't have my size so i had to order it so i'm getting it shipped to the store it should be in this week i will have it to show you and we can style it together in my next vlog but like i made the decision this is a terrible angle i'm gonna continue to shop because if you've known me like my family like my aunt and my grandma and my mom and my sister you know you guys know back me like I've always been really into shopping I love shopping I've always loved shopping I've always loved jewelry I've always loved clothes really hate it but it's just a part of who I am I'm done and I feel like I've been done though I'm done caving in on trends and things that I see people buy like I'm done buying things just to buy things I have this thing um and I've said it quite a few times sorry that was disgusting I was like picking my teeth um let me just see what my hair looks like what was I saying let me sit I feel a little like all over the place I'm really not looking forward to I feel like I clean oh, oh my god I am not one to ever really follow trends. I'm kind of in that stage of my life where I have a good sense of at least what I want my style to be, but I do like different things. I feel like me to the core, I'm very feminine like this. I also really love like an edgy, like New York vibe. And I also feel like that's very much me, but I think like this is more me, even though I don't think that I want this to be me. I like to hone in on the edgy, edgier side of me. As I've gotten older, I'm trying to like embrace who I am and I think that internally I'm more of like a softer kind of like feminine energy than I think I'm willing to admit I think I like to kind of be like a hard like New Yorker like I kind of feel like I've always put that facade on and granted like I'm a Jersey girl okay I have a bite to me naturally I really don't like conflict and I'm realizing that more and more as I get older um, and I'm trying to work on it because it's kind of gone to the point where I don't like conflict so much that I try to avoid conflict and I bite my tongue a lot more than I used to bite my my tongue and like yes maybe that's a good thing but I kind of miss who I was we went into a whole tangent about shopping so maybe we could say that shopping is like so much more than just shopping because we just went into the whole thing about deeper things because I can never just talk about something and it be surface but I can because I love to shop anyway anywho anyhow what I was saying I want to just like minimize my closet and become a minimalist because I feel like I have I don't have so much shit because I have really minimized and I haven't been shopping as much lately in so many words I'm trying to rewire my brain to be more of a minimalist because the clutter gives me anxiety I don't want to feel this way anymore I want to be able to like and my closet has gotten better but I want to be able to walk into my closet and just be like excited about what's in front of me and be able to put an outfit together quickly. So like I want my closet to be basics and then whatever I feel like my closet is lacking, I don't wanna say allow, but I allow myself to fill that void. You guys know I love belts. I love belts and I really love designer belts and I love a logo. It's the jersey in me. I like a gaudy logo, as tacky as it may be. I'm sorry, this has become a whole like Shopaholics Anonymous discussion, but I like to spend my bag, my bag, I like to spend my money on handbags and jewelry and belts, like accessories that I'll wear multiple times, like a bag I wear multiple times. I can live in a bag for a week at a time. So to me, it's worth that kind of like 
luxury price point i always wear a belt so i love designer belts i just feel like it's more bang for your buck whereas clothes i get bored of things very easily which is why i love rent the runway run something and then send it back and get something different and i never have to look at this piece again realizing that things like this i don't like to invest my money in like my gucci d ring bag i really do like it but i just feel like it's a little too like not timeless although i bought the matching shoes and i love the shoes in the bag together so i'm just a little psychotic and i really love fashion but i have this thing recently where i'm kind of feeling bad for the things that i love and Tati Westbrook talked about this. She went through like a phase of her life where she was like changing and she realized that she had like her priorities not aligned to what she like wanted them to be. She kind of like ended up hating beauty and like hating all of the work that she had done. She just felt like really superficial and materialistic for liking the things that she likes. And that's like how I'm feeling. I feel bad about it and guilty about it because of like the planet and like just the state of the world we're in and that like things are so expensive and people are like struggling to make ends meet. And like, I feel bad that like I shop when other people like can't afford like food. Like I just, it's a thing. And I realize that I think I need to just start giving back. I think that that would be a good thing. Like I just feel very bitter about the world and the state of the world that we are in. And this is terrible to say, but I'm just being like upfront and honest. Like I kind of just feel like I hate the world and I hate most of the people in it. So I feel bitter, but I think I need to switch, to flip the switch. Yeah and pour out what I need more of. So I think I need to start like giving back and doing more good for the world. And then maybe I won't feel so bad about the other things that I enjoy. I don't know if this makes any sense. I just feel really weird lately. I feel very heavy and everything that I once like really loved and found solace in, like I'm kind of feeling, feeling guilty about it. It's so strange, it's so weird. I have a lot of thoughts and I don't know where to put them. And so I'm sorry that I put them on you. But anyway, Mike and I went to the Short Hills Mall yesterday, walked by Tiffany and I was like, let's go into Tiffany. Cause Mike was like, what do you want to do? We had time to spare because we went to dinner with my family. I was like, let's walk into Tiffany. I haven't been to Tiffany a really long time. And my plan was to just walk into Tiffany and like walk around and peruse on my own time. And like knowing in my head, I wasn't buying anything though. Like I genuinely just wanted to go and try. I met this amazing saleswoman. She was such a good time. Mike and I had so much fun with her, Sandra at Tiffany in the Short Hills Mall. She was like, oh, she saw my stack. She had like crazy beautiful bracelets, necklace. Like she had ear, like she was stacked. And I love jewelry. And I love a woman with good taste in jewelry. Or just honestly, I love a woman that loves jewelry, whether I think it's good taste or not. I just love jewelry and I appreciate others who appreciate it. But she like walked me around the store, guys. Oh my God, she put on that like link bracelet. I'll put a picture here. I went on Amazon and I bought, see, this is me. This is me shopping again. But I went on Amazon and I bought one for like $15. I'll link that down below as well. I'm gonna get the knockoff and I wanna try it because I really wanna try it. And, but anyway, I get sucked in is the moral of the story. I get sucked in and I love shopping and I love jewelry and I just have to have a good time. That's how I would love to spend my afternoons, walking in a beautiful store, amongst beautiful women looking at beautiful things and like shopping together. So she took me shopping through the store. We tried on bracelets. We tried on the link one that I'm getting a um, faux necklace of. It came in two sizes, a bigger size and a smaller size. I like the bigger size because you could really see the detail of the bracelet and it was just gorgeous. And I love chunky, gaudy, beautiful, like, you know, chunky, gaudy is beautiful to me. Is that gunshots or is that fireworks? What's well, fireworks? Okay. I don't know. I just, I get nervous. This is also how I am. I'm just nervous all the time. I feel like something bad's gonna happen at any time. I like the bigger one better, but when I went to a mirror, pro tip for me to you, okay, when shopping for jewelry, yes, you can put something on and it will look beautiful on your wrist and you'll love that up close, but always make sure you're looking at whatever the jewelry is in a full length mirror because I went there to the full length mirror. I had it on my wrist, the chunkier one, and I was like, this is not adding anything to my stack of bracelets bracelets because I always wear these bracelets. It's not adding, it's sucking the life out of it. It just didn't look good together. It was a beautiful piece and I loved it, but it didn't look good with what I already have. It just sounds so materialistic, but I had such a good time. And this is a part of who I am. Like this is, I really love jewelry. I really wish I would have just like pursued a career in jewelry, honestly, but anyway. And then she told us the price and I was like, absolutely not. It was like a lot of money. Like I think the bracelet was like seven, $8,000. And I was like, I'm no. 
that's unnecessary. I've not spent that much money on jewelry before, but like my Van Cleef bracelet was like a lot of money that I spent on it. But I bought it last summer because I was really proud of me and it was like a reward to myself and I would never and will never regret that purchase. It was a moment in time, but like, no, I, no. I was not spending that much money on a bracelet. Then I was like, can you show me something else? She showed me tea bangles. The bracelet that I liked was half diamonds and 18 karat gold. It was beautiful. That costs more than my car. Granted, I didn't spend a lot of money on my car and I love Betty, but it was more than Betty, all right? And there was no way I was walking out with that. For someone who's saving up money to buy a house and feels terrible about the state of the world, I was not, your girl was not. LOL. I hate myself as I get Amazon packages. Is it a problem? Is it a problem? I'll show you what I bought. And then you can tell me if I really have a problem. I don't know. I don't know. Anywho, London Jewelers. This is where we went yesterday. Established in 1926. I don't know. But anywho, the lady that helped us was so nice. What was her name? I took her card. I'm gonna put her in my contacts. Tanya. Tanya at London Jewelers. Great customer service yesterday, which I feel like makes all the difference when shopping. Like if I get someone that I vibe with, it's like fun to shop and they add to the experience. She gave us a London Jewelers cookie with chocolate. It's a little melted though, because we left it in the car. She gave me a thing of cleaner, which Mike and I will share. This is the bracelet, because obviously I'm wearing it. Like literally she put it on. She was like, you're gonna leave the store with it on, but this is it. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. It's official. <laughs> it's mine. Oh my God, I love it. Love my bracelet. Isn't it pretty? And it matches my evil eye tattoo. We were just like walking around in London Jewelers after I was trying on crazy, ridiculously priced jewelry. And then we went to Van Cleef and I was looking at all the Van Cleef stuff. But anyway, we were just looking at ridiculously priced things that were not happening because I was not buying them. I have goals and it's not to spend all my money on jewelry. Although, is it? Although, is it? So you can wear it like two ways. So this is facing you, the turquoise and the little diamonds but then it can be like reversed where there's no diamonds and it's just gold around it. Like how cool is that? But I love that it matches me. This is how I feel when it comes to shopping. It needs to be a necessity or it needs to be like, this is a piece of who I am. With jewelry for me, it becomes me because I never take it off. We saw this and it was in the case and Mike was like, that's really cute. And I was like, oh, that is really cute, but it's totally gonna clash with my bracelets. And he was like, no, actually, I don't think that it is. And he was like, all right, let's go. So he started walking away and I was like, you know what? I've tried on so much jewelry today. What's another thing to try on? And then I tried this on and I loved it. Like I absolutely love this. I have a very chic jewelry stack for someone who is gold. Body. Let's see what I bought. I literally bought these yesterday and I hit send everything in one package and they sent me everything in two packages. And that upsets me. I don't know why. Like I should probably just stop buying from Amazon. A sticky nipple cover. I'm going to let you know how these are. I bought boob tape last summer. I have two shirts that I need to do something with my tatas. Like I just, I feel uncomfortable without wearing a bra in the, these shirts for some reason. And I'm someone who has never felt uncomfortable not wearing a bra until recently. So this is a new thing for me. You're supposed to like put them on. It helps to lift them, put it on and lift them up. Yeah, I just, I don't know. They could use a little help in those shirts. Why so much cardboard? This is why I'm really, like, I think I'm gonna minimize my, oh, let's see, why would I love my Amazon storefront and I love shopping on Amazon, but now I'm like, you know what? Maybe I should minimize shopping on Amazon. I don't know. I don't know. And then it's like, am I promoting like the things that I wanna be promoting? I'm not getting paid. I mean, I am getting paid from Amazon, but like it's an affiliate code and I make like 25 cents when I make a sale. But I'm not like promoting it for the money. I'm promoting my storefront because I shop on Amazon all the time. But I think I feel bad shopping on Amazon and I wanna cut back shopping on Amazon. I really wanted these to do my blowout. I bought two packs of these hair clips, duck clips. And I was only gonna buy one pack, but yesterday when I was putting them in and then taking them out because I only had three and was running out. It was driving me nuts. Like I was losing track for a bit there. And I'm going to be honest, I gave up on the clipping. So I think the more the merrier. So I'll let you know how these go. And then I got, which actually I'm going to use this tonight and I'll report back. I got this tripod for my phone because I'm trying to do shorts more. Give a girl credit. I have been uploading a lot lately. 
five days a week. And I'm gonna film my what's in my bag. What was in my bag for the weekend, I should say. It's not up yet, but if you're watching this video at a later date, I will link it here. I'm gonna go do that. But I love my bracelet. I'm very excited for it. And I'm sorry that I just talked your ear off about all of my guilt that I feel from being a materialistic shopaholic, but I just, I needed to get it out. And thank you for letting me get it out. And next, I'm gonna get out the stuff in my handbag. So let me pack for work which this is like the most depressing part of my weekend. I could cry and so I'm not gonna do this with you because I bring a lot of sad vibes. You don't need more. You don't need more of my sad vibes. I'm drawing the line for us both. Filmed my what's in my handbag on my new tripod, which I'm a little if about. I don't know if we're gonna keep her. It's nice, the height, but I don't like that there's not a lot of like mobility. It doesn't like swivel forward. I made a mess. My tampon's right there on the floor. Um, so I unpack my bag to film it, to make a mess, have the luxuries of putting it away. But honestly, she's so beautiful. She's so beautiful. Let's just chit chat while I put things away. I feel really uncomfortable in this dress. I don't know how to wear it. Like, does it look better up or down? Because in the video I just filmed, I pulled it down for some reason. And also I felt like I looked hideous. And for a moment I was like, I need to slap on some makeup to feel better about the way that I look. You know, we have those days, I'm a little down and out on myself a little bit lately. Just, I think I need to pamper myself a little bit more and I need to give myself a facial massage. Yesterday I did the new face and I was feeling good about myself, but I think it's hard for me because I watch a lot of people here on YouTube that get work done to their face. This is like also a topic that we will discuss in, we'll discuss, I said that very weird in my next vlog. I have a lot of topics to discuss with you, um, but I have talked your ear off. But like everyone that I follow on YouTube, they all get Botox and I have not gotten Botox in like three years. And I only did it once and it lasted in my face for like eight weeks. So I don't know, just for me, it's not worth it. And I'm kind of like nervous about the side effects and I do try to be like a holistic human, but I don't know. I was looking back at the video and was like, oh my God. You know, like when you see yourself getting older and it's like weird because when you look in videos or like in pictures, it's like, oh yeah, like she, she has evolved, you know? But in my head, I'm still like that 21 year old. It's like the bushy brows, the plump face, very petite body, small. And like, I, maybe I am some of those things still. I just, it's like weird getting older. We're all aging and it's like wild to like notice it also the straps on these dress are wild and my grandma would tell me and my mom would tell me to just cut them off but then it's hard to hang this and i hate hanging this favorite lip gloss and i know a lot of you like this lip gloss and that we all wear this lip gloss me and my one girl here we wear it all the time she tells me all the time that she wears it and it's so funny because every time that she says she's wearing it i'm wearing it because i literally wear this every day shout out is this not the best lip gloss ever and this is in missed call and this is what's on my lips. It's a little pigmented, it's tinted, but it just makes my lips look naturally flushed and juicy. So it's great for with or without lip liner, with or without makeup. It is so freaking good. So I just had to shout that out. I gotta call it quits. I think I need to decompress. I really wanna read my book, which let's end it on that. I'm reading one of my subscriber suggestions, but I only read the, I didn't even start chapter one. Is it the prologue? I'm terrible with things like that. Judy Bloom. Summer Sisters, my friend here, she told me that I should read this. I really enjoyed the prologue. I enjoyed the back of the book, the synopsis of the book, so I'm, I'm diving into it. I finished Husbands. I kind of have a lot to say, but I don't want to say too much. It took me a lifetime to read it, so I feel like that contributes to the taste that I have in my mouth of the book. I just feel like it took me three months to read it because I didn't make the time. It was definitely my fault. I understand it was like a logical ending. I guess it was like a logical thing to do, but I felt like it was a lot of builds up for that to be the end. Ending. I thought she was gonna do more solving of what was going on to like play the game and win the game in the end But I like appreciate the message that the book sent if that makes sense I know one of you guys has read the book and I know I told you like six weeks ago that I was gonna finish it But I just finished it like a week ago and I don't know It wasn't like the best book I read it like touched a part of me to like take care of my current home and to like nurture What I have around me to like not take things for granted and I felt like that was highlighted throughout the whole book and that's where I'll leave it here. If you read the book, what are your thoughts on the book? Let's talk tea in the comments. If you're reading it, don't read the comments. Um, 
and we won't spoil it, but I wanna, let's chat, let's chit chat. It was good, but I don't really think it was good. And I feel bad because my husband recommended it to me, but just, I needed more of like a gripping story to keep me engaged. And it didn't do that for me clearly because it took me three months. So I'm gonna go, I've been talking a lot. I'm so sorry that this entire video was just like me chit chatting in my beauty room. Um, but I'm gonna edit this and upload this tomorrow because it's Sunday night, I need to go decompress. Let me know your thoughts on my feelings because I would like to have like discussions about these things. I learned a lot from so many of you and I enjoy talking to you guys and I feel like a lot of us are just like really good people just trying to be happier humans, enlightening one another and helping one another. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for subscribing, for hanging out with me, for dedicating your time to me, especially when it's me just talking at you. But I hope you know that I feel like I'm talking with you. Thanks so much for joining me this time. I hope that you'll join me in the next one. And until then, I hope you had a fabulous weekend and you have a fabulous week ahead. Bye guys. Mwah.